everyone and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be drafting a basic face mask now i've actually posted an article on how to draft your own about two months ago really been a while but i was reluctant to do a video since there are so many videos online anyway i just decided to make this a companion video for the article so that if you're reading my article and you get a bit confused you can see how i did it so there's a um, link over there to the website article and also there's a link in that article to a free pattern which you can download and use yourself. Just print it out on A4 paper and cut it out in use. So it's very straightforward. But now I'm actually going to show you how to draft your own using your own measurements. And these are the measurements you're going to need. It's just basic. You take the first one is from your nose to your chin. The second one is ear to ear or cheek to cheek, however wide you want it. And the last one is pretty much the height of the uh, face mask at your ear. You can use your ear as a guide. One inch, two inches, two and a half, two and a quarter at the most maybe, but just about that. All right, so let's get drafting. You don't need anything much, just a pen and a straight ruler and maybe a curve ruler. First, you want to just square down any line, just a straight line. Now on this line, we're going to put our length, that's your nose to chin, or however long you want it. In the pattern I set for downloading, it's four and a half, so it's about medium height. In this video, I'm going to do five and a half. Just make a longer variation for myself so that's five and a half inches i'll mark that you can just let me just call that point a point b for reference next you want to find the midpoint of this line five and a half and a half will be about two and three quarters i'll call that point c now from point c in the middle you're just going to square another guideline make sure this is right angles Square across like that. Now on this, the cheek to cheek measurement you took, you're going to divide that into. So my cheek to cheek is about nine inches. It could be smaller. You can make it eight. It depends on your face and all that. If you want full coverage and all that. So nine inches divided by two is four point five. So I'm going to put four point five. Mark that off. Let's call that point D. Now, at point D, we're going to do the back of the face mask, the part near your ear, and that you're just going to square off the height. It can be two inches, one and a half inch. Uh, I think two is reasonable. What you're going to do is divide it equally. If it's two inches, one above the line, another one below the line. If it's wider, do the same thing. So, that's my two inch line. We can call that point E and point F. Right. Next, you want to just join these two lines. Join A to E and B to F. And we have our general shape. We have the general shape. Now we need to shape it and curve it. From point A, you're just going to measure inwards about an inch. And from point B, you're going to measure inwards about half an inch or five eighths of an inch. It's just give a bit of shape. So I'll just do half an inch. And now you're going to draw in a curve from E to B and E to A. Okay, not quite A, but you know what I mean here. Let's just call them FF. Let's call this G and H. So E to G and E to H. The main thing you want here to be a bit straight. Don't make it pointy. So we're just going to do a gentle curve. Like so. And another one here. Like 
like so. So just a bit flat on the side, okay? And then we're going to shape this side. If you leave it like this, to be honest, it's not the worst, but to make it, um, because of your cheekbone and your jawline, to give it a little more shape so it curves around your body. Remember, curved lines do curve around the body than straight lines. And anyway, even if you cut this like this, or uh, the very shape of it means it's on the bias, so it will stretch out a little, so it's still okay. Anywho, um, for the line A to E, you want to curve inwards like that, and the line H to F here, the same thing, you just want to curve inwards. So, what do I mean? You really just want to do this. I'm curving inwards about a quarter of an inch or maybe up to one centimeter. It could even be deeper, depends on how you want to balance it out. And I'm just going to freehand it. So that is the shape of your mask. So depending on the measurements you choose, you could look a little more different than this. The one I have for download, the front is a little shorter, so it doesn't look as peaked as this. So different things, it's different faces. Right, so this is our mask. Next, we're going to add the similar ones once and for all, so that it's easy to just cut out and sew. For similar ones, I recommend about five mil, five millimeters or a quarter of an inch because it'll make it very small and to be easy to should I say to be hidden if you make it bigger similar if I need to start trimming it down and all that you don't want to waste fabric so I'm just going to add about a quarter of an inch similar ones all around my pattern When you get to the back, it would be better to make sure it squares out a little. You don't want to be too. You don't want to be too um, curved. I'll show you what I mean. I want half an inch here, like this. So you want this to come out a bit like that, so that when you sew it in. It folds nicely. So, what else? We need to mark the direction. Up. And how many to cut. Right. So this is up. I've noted that. And I need to cut four. So that is generally your pattern. We are going to cut it out. Remember, cut it around your seam allowance. And just place some fabric and so, so I'll show you a quick um, illustration of how I did that and let's get to the sewing. Okay, I have some scrap fabric. Now I read somewhere and I put the link below that for a good mask, the inner fabric should be something absorbable like a close weave cotton fabric. So even Ankara is good for that. And the outer fabric, you need something that is as they say repellent so it said natural silk or even chiffon is good for the outer fabric but for just this illustration i'm just going to use ankara so that you see how it's done I'm just marking 
which side is up. All right. Now for the ties, you can use elastic, but I'm going to actually just cut out four strips of fabric, one inch wide, to your desired length, and I'm just going to use that for my ties. For the mask, the first thing I'm going to do is sew the center front together and then I'm also going to take the strips, right sides together, fold them in and sew or alternatively you can do it like this where you just fold them in, fold them in like this and top stitch which is what I'll probably just do just to get them into a tidy fashion. So I'm going to do that to the straps and I'm going to sew the center front of the mask. Okay, I have sewn the center front. So you can see now. Open that. Open that. So that's the mask. For the rope, I have two longer ones, two shorter ones. It really doesn't matter. I usually put this at the bottom where it goes around your neck and the, this at the top where it goes around your head. So we're going to put one on top of the other like this. Open this. Open this. Make sure they're facing the same direction. Up and up. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew around. You can iron this down to make it flatter. You can iron your seam down now. So that is set. So you're going to sew around here and around there. Okay, sewn here, sewn here. Make sure your seam allowances face the same direction so that it lies flat. You can press everything down now. And now we're going to just flip it. You want to take the edge here, the left half an inch, and just fold it in by half an inch. That's it. Fold it like that. And then for the straps, Okay. I'm going to take the two longer ones. I'm just going to put them in about half an inch here. Put one there. Put one there. last one and I'm just going to sew straight down on both sides and that should be the end of your mask all right straps attached as a final detail I stitched over the edge just right at the edge right at the edge this will keep it flat and it will keep the two sides from folding it into each other when you wash it I have my straps attached and your face mask your fitted face mask this is the upper side so that's how it looks like 